So can we uh, discuss the details? So first of all, which psychedelic are we talking about? And maybe can you talk about the 15 people and the, how the study ran and what you found? Yeah, yeah. So the, the drug we're using is psilocybin, and we're using um, a moderately high and high doses of, of psilocybin. And I should say this about most of our work. These are not kind of museum level doses. In other words, nothing even big fans of psychedelics want to take and go to a go to a concert or go to the museum. If someone's at Burning Man on this type of dose, like they're probably gonna want to find their way back to their tent and zip up and hunker down for you know, <laughs> not be around strangers. Yeah. And by the way, uh the the delivery method, so so Simon is mushrooms, I guess. Uh What's the usual? Is it edible? Is there some other way? Like, how are people supposed to think about uh, the the correct dosing of these things? Because I've heard that it's hard to dose correctly. Uh, that's right. That's right. So in our studies, we use the the pure compound psilocybin. So it's a single molecule, you know, a bunch of molecules, and we and we uh, give them a capsule with that in it. Right. Um, uh, and, and so it's just you know a little capsule they swallow. What People, when psilocybin is used outside of research, it's always in the context of mushrooms because mm-hmm. um, they're so easy to grow. There's no market for synthetic psilocybin. There's no reason for that to pop up. Um, the, 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 the high dose that we use in research is 30 milligrams body weight adjusted. So if you're a heavier person, it might be like 40 or even 50 milligrams. Um we have some data that it, based on that data, we're actually moving into like getting away from the body weight adjusting of the dose and just giving an absolute dose. It seems like there's no justification for the body weight based dosing, but I, I digress. Um, generally 30, 40 milligrams, is, it's, it's a high dose. And based on average, even though, as you alluded to, there's variability, which gets people into some trouble yeah. um, in terms of mushrooms, like Psilocybe cubensis, which is the most common for species in the illicit market in the U.S., um, this is about equivalent to five dried grams, which is right at about where, right where McKenna and others, they call it a, 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 a heroic dose. You know, this is not hanging out with your friends, going to the concert again. So this is a real deal dose, even to people that like really, you know, just even to psychonauts. And even we've even had a number of studies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people that, yeah, like, so that's a great or term. Or cosmonaut, you know, like psychonaut for psychedelics. <laughs> yeah, going as far out as possible. But, but even for them, even for even for those who've flown to space before. <laughs> right, right. They're like, holy shit, I didn't know the orbit would be that you know, yeah. <laughs> far out, you know, like, or I, I escaped the or- orbit. I was in interplanetary space there. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so these folks in the, the 15 folks in the study, they're not, there's not a question of uh, dose being too low to truly have an impact. Right, right. Very out of hundreds of volunteers over the years, we've only seen a couple of people where there was a mild effect of the of the thirty milligrams. And it, who knows that person's their serotonin? They they might have lesser density of serotonin two A receptors or something. We don't know, but it's extremely rare for most people. This is like like something interesting is going to happen 